What do you think, babes? We gotta go on a ghost hunt. We're all going oh, no, no. on a little ghost hunt. That's better. We're going to find a cemetery full of demon dolls <laughs> like you. <laughs> demon dolls like you. Yeah, I'd be looking at me that way too. <laughs> Come to a little place called Staffordshire Reef. I've never actually been here before. It's only about half an hour from Ballarat itself. And um, I just wanted to have a look at this little cemetery I spotted on Google Earth. So we'll take you for a little bit of a walk through here. Have a look and see what it's like. Staffordshire Reef Cemetery Memorial Wall. Okay, so we've got somebody here, it's from Scotland, and we've got a lady here who was from, hmm, wherever. Not too sure. Quite an open block. Now this area was um, was mined pretty heavily. Staffordshire Reef. They actually found quite a bit of gold. So you know there could be a few more burials and around this area than what it looks like. It doesn't look like there's too many burials here, but we'll go and have a bit of a prowl around. See what we can find. So this is Graham's bench. Hello Graham. Baby's just having a chill. Yep, baby's having a chill. <laughs> Seems like this cemetery is still used today. There's a couple of 2017-2018 um, burials. There's a couple of curious old ones we'll have a look at. We actually came in from the back end of the cemetery and it looks like uh, the back end's full of some newer graves so we'll just avoid them. We'll have a look at some of these new ones. Also got a, a K2 with me. <coughs> I'll just pop that down for a minute just as I'm informing the spirit here that we come with a lot of love and light and uh, a lot of respect for you and if you feel that you wish to come and have a chat to us feel free to do so have a bit of a wander around Jane Blakely, 1880. Ellen Tranter, 1883. There's a few other people here. A few Elizabeths. I like the E names. I guess it's like an Elizabethan name. Got a a little bit of a brick area here and um, it appears to be that there was somebody buried here but it's totally unmarked so that's what I mean by you know there are places around in cemeteries where you could be standing on top of somebody's grave you just wouldn't know it I'm holding the K2 out away from the phone, so if it does go off, I'll um, show you. Let's 
Just a little bit of a concrete slab there. Bethany's gone walking around with her little um, demon doll, we call her. She's a lovely little doll. Again, no headstone or marking, so we send blessings to this person. And that little building over there must be some sort of a toilet or whatever. The ground seems to be sort of like undulating and shifting a bit. I'll have a look over this way. Can't quite make this one out. Send your love and blessing anyway. Joanna. I like the name Joanna. My sister's name Joanna. This Joanna died in 1893. Along with her Henry and her Sarah buried here. Um, Sarah, 1870. And this has been slightly weathered away. Unless somebody's come along and tried to pull it all apart. For some ungodly known reason. Bethany's up the back there. I think she's found something. Certainly some interesting graves here. This one's a little bit difficult to make out. And a couple of little ones, I'll probably collect those two on the way through. We'll have a look at a couple of these ones. Walk around in circles here. Well, this one was built rather solid. We've got some pretty mean spikes on the top there. They didn't want anybody jumping over on that one. In memory of brother. C H A. Wellmans, who was accidentally killed on the 26th of April 1865, I think it says, age 33. And this one here is well covered in. Interesting one. This one's been well overgrown. Frederick William. I can't read the rest of it. And Anne Catherine, someone or other. I'm assuming that's his wife. It could be. But the energy. Like they're all pretty neutral. Hmm. But this one's got like whoever's in there is a bit ink is a bit crazy. Mm. There's a plaque up against the fence line there. Okay, we'll go up and have a um, look. Dedicated to the pioneers of the area. Oh okay. I I'm just read. holding the um, K2 away from the phone. Another this old one's one. Got kids. Okay, we've got some kids here. This one's got hmm. the 1911, one was 19, one was 11, and one was 15 years. Okay, and this one here. There is a plaque, but I can't see it. They've got a, a plaque over there. tree growing out of it. There's a plaque there. This will be a... But this is that grass that cuts Oh, yeah, yep, yep. So yep. I'm not... It's the razor grass. Yeah, I'm not going there. That hurts. 
I learned that as a child. <laughs> that young. So where was the plaque over here? It's over there. So there's the plaque and there's the original oh, okay. subscription. I can't get down to see it. So yep. Still holding the K2 and nothing's happening apart from now because I've got it near the phone. George Parkins. 13th of the 3rd, 1833 to the 14th of the 10th, 1915. Our English forebearer arrived in Melbourne. And that's... 1861. That's the part that's kind of... The tin one kind of says the same thing, but you can't read it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right. You know, this area here is actually the front entrance. So there's a little gate just yeah, over here. It's got a sign on it. I think there might be a, a grave in there too. <laughs> Probably. Do you notice how quiet it is? Yeah. There's no bugs. Just have a head down towards this big one over here, I think. Are we the only ones here? Yep. I seriously saw someone walking down the front there. You saw someone walking? What, along the street bit? No, in the cemetery. Oh, in the cemetery? Oh, okay. Well, if there's anyone here, would you like to come and join us? <clears throat> would you like to come and say hello? There's another guy who was accidentally killed. Maybe a mining thing. Could have been a mining thing because there was a lot of mining going on here. It's quite a substantial one. I'm just looking in the um, the phone, and I'm not wearing my very clear glasses. I've got my long distance glasses on at the moment, but it looks like there's a face on the headstone. I don't know if anybody else sees it. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Unfortunately these days I've got to wear um, long distance glasses and reading glasses. So the long distance glasses not very clear when it comes to um, you know looking into the phone okay so I've got a K2 meter and I've got two cap balls now these are instruments that you can use if you come close you can push your cap balls and you can make them sparkle or the K2 you can uh, come close to and you'll light up the lights and we're getting a little bit of flashing a little bit of flashing on the K2 so thank you for that if you'd like to come forward and have a bit of a chat to us if you like using the K2 or the cap balls please do so we'll even put the um, cap balls a little bit closer to the K2 for you so if you'd like to come and spike up that K2 again like you did just before be much appreciated just to show that you're here seems to be a very quiet lovely cemetery and we don't really feel too much here But if there's anyone around feel free to step forward we really like it if you communicate with us just to let us know that you're here come and try and light up these lights push your cat balls for us there's relatively no breeze it's very still very quiet
once again if there's anyone here who'd like to come and communicate with us be much appreciated we come with a lot of respect for you we'd love to hear some of the stories of your lives what it was like living here we wonder if you've worked the mines here And this is Mr. William Guy. I was just reading about him a little bit earlier today when I was researching the cemetery. Just gave me shock. He came across by a cutter ship, sailing ship, and uh, he's buried here along with we've got Isabel and Guy. Oh, that's his Walter. wife. What well, Isabel? That's Walter. William Guy. Yeah. Hang on, Walter Guy was William Walter Guy and his wife. Yeah. And that must be their son. And that's their son, and then there's a, the two at the back. There's another Walter, and Albert, and an Amelia. Oh, okay, there you go. I don't so happening. the Guy family was a, a pretty prolific family here in the 1800s. So there's a William Guy over here. Looks like they're all named after each other. Well, there's a William Williams Guy here with his wife Isab Isabella. This is in loving memory of Isabella Guy and her husband William Walter Guy. And their son Alfred Guy. Now Isabella, William, um, they married. Isabella, I believe, was from Tasmania. William came across from, might have been Scotland, from what I was reading. And um, I'll go through the story and see if I can put a little bit of the storyline in it's on this video. Here, but I don't know who it is. And there's somebody here. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but I'm And this one there. is in loving memory of William, William Guy. 1908 to... Yeah, and his children, mm -hmm. child, and his child died at birth. Mm. All right. And then we've got behind There's a couple here. behind here. We've got Helen Knox, guys. Okay. And we've got Well, Charles it seems Leslie. like that the family... There's Charles Leslie Guy. Charles Leslie Guy, husband of Helen. This is Helen Knox Guy. And then over here so it seems like the family stayed in the area and were a very prolific family. Here we've got Walter Guy. Walter Guy. Amelia Edith. And Albert. And then there's the latest one over there. So <laughs> there's a few Lots of guys. Walters and Williams. And this is Alan. That was, that's okay. A, that's 2000. And, that's so this that's is. Uh, a very well-known like family. There's a new one. And that's Alan Vivian Guy yeah. over there. This is Adrian Mary, Mary Guy. And dearly and daughter, love Patricia, Alan, John. Love sister of John, David and Stephen. Stephen. Alan's over here. Just There's someone there though. Yep. That's a new We've one. Got and we've got the phrases. Right there. And then we've got, the, there's Helen. And back to Helen and Charles. And then we go with Scott. Okay. And we've got Alfred, Roy and Alice. And then there's another family. Yeah, we're not going to go through the new ones. They're all a little bit too new. Yeah. And steer clear of the newer ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's interesting because I was reading about the Guy family as I was doing some research to find out where this place was and uh, there's a little bit of written stuff up about the Guy family particularly about uh, Walter Guy so I'll see if I can add some of it into this vid alright well cheers to all the spirit that are here today 
If any of you are in the background watching us, you come with respect. Anybody that came through was chatting to us. Um, we're using the K2 meter and the necrophonics. We thank you for that. We send you a lot of love and respect. And we love this little resting place of yours. So we will come back one day soon. I'll have a chat to you. Cheers. Well, it's a tough life, this afterlife, being a demon doll. <laughs> My spirited baby, she's gone to sleep. Bye.